Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the arrow keys. What I've got here is I'm going to refresh this browser and you notice it brought the little blue box up. I'm going to use my right arrow key now and notice my right arrow key moves a little box to the right. My, my down arrow key moves a little box down. My up arrow key moves the box up. My left arrow key moves the box to the left. Of course, it'll stay within the canvas element. The canvas element is ending right about, right about there. Okay, let me use my up arrow key to move it up again. And when I refresh it, it goes back to its regular place. Okay, let's look at the source code and see how I did this. I'm going to bring this up here out of the way and click on this. And if I come down here, there's my standard stuff that I've had before. There's my canvas element. Uh, this is the script that's in the body element that sets up the initial position of the, uh, of the little square. What I've done is my square is located at 40 uh, on the X direction, 40 uh, pixels to the right, and 20 pixels down, okay? 20 pixels along the Y direction and the size of it is 50 by 50. Now, what I'm doing here is that on the body tag, on key up, I'm, I'm uh, calling the function which key, which has uh, the event object as its argument. And here I have the function up here, which key, there's the event, and the key, this is a variable, just like we had before. Uh, the event object is using uh, the key code uh, dot key code for a value. So what I do first is I have up here I set x equal to 40 and y equal to 20. The reason why I set x equal to 40 and y equal to 20 is because the initial position of the rectangle is 40 and 20. 40 along the x-axis, 20 along the y-axis, meaning 20 coming down. So this is the function which key, okay? And there's my key code event. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the canvas, uh, not the canvas, but where the, the cube was, I'm going to make a white cube. And I'm going to paint it over exactly where it was. In other words, the first case is going to be at 40, and then the Y is going to be at 20. Now what I have, I'm introducing something new. Instead of a bunch of if-elses, I'm using the switch statement. And the switch statement is in many ways a lot cleaner than the if-else, if-else, if-else. Basically what the switch statement does, is switch is a keyword, and then key is a variable that's going to have a value. These are the cases of the values that I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, a, key, uh, a key code of 37, which of course is going to be the left arrow key. So if it's the, uh, with a colon, if it's the left arrow key, x is going to equal to minus equals 5, which means we're going to reduce 5 by x, uh, the, the value of x by 5. Break means stop and just break out of this and then go down here and fill the canvas with blue and then put in the, uh, the new value of x, the old value of y, and then its dimensions again. Uh, so then if I go and I do another uh, key up, in other words, I press uh, another left or right arrow key, it'll find out what the key code is. And basically, like on this one here, this is y minus equals 5. Uh, this is making 5 less which means it's moving it up now. Uh, this is making x more, x plus equals 5, which is moving it more to the right. This is making y plus equals 5, which is moving it down. So you want to get used to using the case statement, uh, the switch, I'm sorry, the switch statement, when you have a lot of different cases of what you're looking for. Because I can put a lot of material uh, in here before the break statement. And we'll find that in games we'll be using this a lot. So this is how I, I've done it now so that I can use my arrow keys to uh, move my, my, uh, my canvas object around. And of course, this is one of the first steps we want to use for creating a game. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.